Hello Year 3, this is your maths video for today. Now what we're going to be looking at is we are going to be looking at writing and calculating mathematical statements um, for division using our multiplication knowledge. Okay, so what I thought today, I thought we'd do things a little bit differently. I've got a couple of my maths activities that I thought I'd run through quickly with you so that you know what to do. And then there's a couple of questions as well on the class page. Um, on the sheet that we, we normally do. So let's have a quick look at this. So this is looking at the Bly models. Now we've looked at these quite a bit over the past few weeks, especially looking at a division and fractions. So it says here, match the Bly models to the statements. So there's one where it's 16 where it's split up into two, there's 12 where it's split up into three, and there's 16 here where it's split up into eight, okay? So what we need to do, we need to read the statements and see which bar model they match to. So this one says 16 items shared between eight groups. Now I know this one is 16 items and it's put into eight little groups here. So I'm going to click on this one and this one and it's going to draw the line. The next one, 12 items shared between three groups. Well, this one's a 16 and this one is 12 and this one's 12 split into three groups. So it's going to be this one. Then there is only one le left, but we will double check it just to make sure. So 16 items shared between two groups. So 16 and it's uh, shared between two groups. So let's match them. Once you've done it, what you can do, you can press mark it and see if you got it right. Super, Miss Dunn did. So now what we're going to do, there's a couple of questions that I'd like you to look at. So these will be different to yours, so don't worry. So a baker makes 55 cupcakes and he shares the cupcakes be equally between five customers. So here, all together here, this is 55 cupcakes. So I'm going to put 55 there. And he shares the cupcakes equally between five customers. So this is one customer, two customer, three customer, four customer, five customers. And it says here, the baker gives how many cupcakes to each customer? And we've got a little question here, what we need to fill out as well. So we know, first of all, that the total number that we're going to be dividing is 55. So we'll put 55 in there. And we're going to be dividing by five because we've got five different customers, haven't we? So I'm going to put five in there. Now we need to think how many times does five go into 55? So I'm going to use my fingers to help me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So that's 11. So each baker should give the cupcake, um, the baker gives 11 cupcakes, sorry, to each customer. Let's check that. Super. And then we press continue at the bottom because there's going to be another question. So a green grocer has 48 carrots. So we've got that information already. We know that this number is going to be 48. And we know that this number here is going to be 48. Now it says she packs eight carrots in each bag. So we know that this is going to be split into eight different parts. So we're going to be dividing by eight. Now what we need to do, we need to figure out how many eights. Oh no, no, Miss Dunn's jumping ahead. We know that this, sorry, is eight because we're dividing by eight. So what we're going to do there, we're going to see how many eights go into 48. So are we ready? Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. My answer is six. Now, I've just realised I've made a mistake here, three, and even teachers make mistakes. That isn't going to be eight. That is, that is because the 48 is split up into eight parts. Now, this part here, that is how many carrots are in that section. And we've just worked out that will be six. So I'm going to change that now. So the green grocer can pack how many carrots, how many packs of carrots in a bag? So it'll be six. So the green grocer can pack six bags of carrots. Let's check if I'm right. Oh, I was right first of all. Oh dearie me, Miss Dunn's going wrong on herself. So let's have a look at the other activity we'll be looking at. 
So on to the next My Maths activity, and we are going to be looking at one-step problems first of all. So it says, write each question as a calculation and work out the answer. So let's read the question first of all. There are 20 children at Kate's party. They get into teams of four for the game. How many teams will, will there be? So the 20 children, so we know we write 20 first of all, because that's the larger number, isn't it? And they get into teams of four. So what I think they're going to do, they are going to be dividing. And we're going to be dividing by four. So now what we need to do, we need to figure out how many fours go into 20. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, five. Let's do another one. So a bike shop has got 27 adult bikes. So we'll write 27 there in stock, sorry, and 19 children's bikes. So we know that that's the next number. How many bikes are in stock altogether? Now we're adding two numbers here together. So we're going to be using the addition sign. So 27 add 19. Now we know that seven add nine is 16. And we know that 20 add 10 is 30. So 16 add 30 is 46. Now the next one. There are seven teams in a relay race. Right, let's put seven there. And each team has four children in it. There we go. How many children are in the race? So this looks like it is a multiplication question. So let's put the multiplication sign there. Now we are looking at seven times four. Um, we don't know our seven times table, which is fine, but we can do it with our four times table. So let's try that. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. My answer should be 28. Let's have a look, let's mark them. Super, right. Let's have another look at question two. So these are two step problems. So giving two different parts to the question to work out the answer. So Marcus has 10 coins, 10 coins altogether. Nine of them are 10p coins, okay? And the other one is a 5p. So how much money does he have? Does Marcus have altogether? Now we know that he's got a 10p coin, so I'm going to put 10 in there and he's got nine of them. So what I think he might need to do is he might need to multiply it by nine. So 10 times nine, and then what he's going to do, he needs to add 5p, so add five. So we know, let's try and work this out now so that we can figure out how much pence he has there. So 10p times nine, that would make 90p. And then he's going to add 5p, so that would make 95p. Hmm, that's a different way of working out a question, isn't it? So Marcus has a 50p coin. He buys an apple for 13p and a chew for 6p. How much money does Marcus have left? So he's got 50p, so let's put 50p there. And is buying something, so he's giving the money away, so he's going to be subtracting, and 13p, because that's how much the apple is, and then he buys a chew, so that's subtracting something else, 6p. So let's try and work this one out. We've got 50 subtract 13. Now 50 subtract three is 47, and then we're going to subtract 10, so it'd be 37. And then we're going to subtract six as well. So that would be at 37 subtract six would be 31. Now remember, it's the P for the pence, 31 pence. Let's see if I got this right. Let's just press this X here. I got it all right, super. So that is what I'd like you to do for the first part. Then what I'd like you to do, after you've done your My Maths activities, there's just a couple of questions on the class page that I'd like you to have a look at. Um, give them a go. And once you've done them, please, can you send pictures of them onto Class Dojo portfolio for me. Thank you, year three. See you soon. Bye-bye.